Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today we do not want you to miss this. We got to talk about Bitcoin and crypto and what you need to know and what we believe is coming. Now, it's not financial advice, guys, but I'm going to talk a little bit about what's going on with Bitcoin and crypto right now. A couple things that I think you need to be aware of. There's a bull market coming. When? Why? You know, how? These are all questions people are asking. Today is Bitcoin pizza day. We'll talk a little bit about that as well. Um, but let's get into it, guys. If you like the content, smash up the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We're doing five videos every day. For you guys and at 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber. Uh, let's look at this market cap. The overall market cap's at $1.1 trillion. Same as usual. It has just been stuck over the last couple weeks, really. Bitcoin was leading the charge to start the year, currently sitting at $26,800 at a $500 billion market cap, which is pretty all right. Now, today is Bitcoin Pizza Day. That is why you see the logo up at the top. Now, for those of you that don't know what Bitcoin Pizza Day is, let me catch you up. 10,000 Bitcoin. Somebody spent 10,000 Bitcoin on a pizza back in 2010. It was worth $41. He bought two pizzas from a restaurant in Florida. Here you go. You got people celebrating Bitcoin Pizza Day right now. This is very, very wild, guys. Uh, this is a very wild thing. You know, this is $250 million worth of Bitcoin uh, that was spent on pizza. And this is what I want to start with because I don't want you guys to miss this. Overall, you know, crypto is still in its infancy, you know, and, and then 10 years later from now, Bitcoin P today, it might be, uh, you know, a billion dollars worth of money that was spent on that pizza. We're in a bear market. There's an accumulation opportunity. And here's another story. Brian Armstrong came out running a TV campaign in D.C. this week. Why? Because we need to get politicians on track understanding how Bitcoin and crypto is one of the most, here you go, from him, most important technology in America. Uh, this is the most important technology has to, uh, in America to update our financial system. You hear everything about the debt ceiling. You hear everything about all the issues with, you know, the United States currency, with some of the issues with inflation. And uh, this is great to see Brian Armstrong and Coinbase putting out an ad because at the end of the day, crypto is not going anywhere. Brian Armstrong has this company and he's aware of it. Look at the largest crypto companies right now. They're doing extremely well. Some of these smaller exchanges are collapsing, but the big couple, you know, they are hanging on strong and continuing to grow, putting out more growth goals. And I really think that they're going to continue to grow in a big, big way. Um, and you're going to see, continue to see politicians come on track. Just recently, we saw uh, Bitcoin campaign donations being accepted by now two presidential candidates in the next election. So this is very urgent, guys. This is what I want to focus on. What is so important? What can't you miss? Do not miss the next bull market, guys. Right now, you look at the history of Bitcoin. These are the quarterly returns for Bitcoin. There are times, 2017 bull market, 123, 80, and then 215% gains for three months in a row. Matter of fact, 11%, no, here you go. 58% gains, 11% gains, 123% gains, 80% gains, 215% gains. Five quarters in a row of gains for Bitcoin, guys. And then you get another bull market that came in 2019-2020, you know, 159% gains, slight retracement, three green months in a row, four green months in a row, you know, 100% gains, 100%. These are the things that you don't want to miss out, guys. And at the end of the day, you know, one, two, three, four, we had four green months in a row. May's a little bit down. These are accumulation opportunity, guys. Do not miss these accumulation opportunities. Michael Saylor came out and said a very great point the other day saying, you know, he believes that Bitcoin is bottomed uh, and the world's biggest cryptocurrency is on the new bull run. He believes the bull run's happening. I don't know if I'm going to take it that far. I think the bottom's in, uh, but I don't want you guys to miss the bull run. Now, it's not financial advice, but looking historically at the Bitcoin rainbow price chart, if this was truly the bottom, then we really have nowhere to go but sideways and up from here. And then starting in February, March, April of 2024, we should really start to get what we see after every Bitcoin happening. And that is very much upward movement. Some of those gains that you see right here, some of these, you know, one, two, three, uh, you know, four green quarters, five green quarters for Bitcoin in a row. And then all coins will rise as well. So what's this video about, guys? This video is a reminder that no matter what the FUD is, guys, 
if you believe in cryptocurrency and you understand, just like Brian Armstrong from Coinbase is saying, that this is an essential technology for fixing the financial system in America, for fixing the financial system of the world, for moving from a middleman in transaction and trusting large government, large companies, to trusting whoever you want to trust by going directly peer-to-peer -peer transactions like the Bitcoin network allows, there is an opportunity to accumulate. Right now, you look at the price of Bitcoin and you see where we're at. And look, we had one, two, three red weeks in a row. I wouldn't be surprised, guys. First of all, wouldn't be surprised if we hit 25,000. That's certainly possible. Maybe another red week in a row. Uh, but if Michael Saylor's right and this bull market is not only coming, but it's here, well, then I would expect us to continue upward. Uh, I would love to see a $30,000 Bitcoin within the next like 30 days. I think it's certainly possible. The Bitcoin conference happened recently. Typically, we see a little bit of downward move during the conference. And then afterwards, we tend to go up, you know, one, two, three red weeks in a row. And then green, you see, you know, one, two, three, and then green, one, two, green. So you can kind of look at some of these trends. I wouldn't be surprised to see an upward movement, guys. I think we've got more time to accumulate. However, because uh, when you do zoom out and you look at the history of this thing, again, you've got a lot of time before these kind of gains happen, right? So guys, don't miss this opportunity. Continue to do the research. Obviously, there's some meme coins out there that people are excited about. Here's Pepe. It's down a little bit. Uh, we talk a lot about Ben coin, Ben Armstrong, BitBoy Crypto launches own token. That could still have some upside. We'll have to see how it plays out. But there's going to be a lot of opportunities in this bull market. Bitcoin is still heating up, guys. And if you have any interest in crypto, you would much rather be buying below all-time highs than above all-time highs. In my opinion, I'm buying as much Bitcoin as I can before $60,000, $69,000 before we get to the all-time high because I know we will get back to that. And that is a 3x from here, a 2, 3x from here, which would be absolutely spectacular for anybody to have an opportunity at that. So don't miss it, guys. A little bit of an update for you today. Uh, but really, that is all I got for you in this one, guys. If you didn't know it, we're giving away $1,000 of the Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber at 10,000 subs. And we are so, so close to that. So don't miss out, guys, on that giveaway. That's all I got. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Smash up the like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, you got to remember, folks, to DCA and HODL. And of course, we'll see you the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I got two videos for you here if you want to check them out. Peace.